Here's a little bigger shelf unit I made out of uh, pallet boards. This one's going to be for my uh, tractors and stuff. Fertile and maybe a couple of Tonkas. I'll show you a little slideshow on what I've made so far. I made a smaller shelf for my son for his tractors and I, I made a box for my daughter and she used it to display some of her collectibles. And on the box I didn't use any screws, it was all wooden dowels. So I'll show you a little slideshow on those and load this up with toys and show you. This will give you a little better idea of the size of the shelf I built here. The 1 16th scale hurdles. There's a big 1466 International, which is a good sized tractor, that one. I, I made this shelf the height to fit that one in there. There's a Farmall H, the trailer, that's a true scale, and then fertile equipment. And Ford 8N, Fordsons. This is a Tonka. I guess it's a one ton dump truck. Works pretty good. There's a release for the tailgate. It locks it in place. Anyways, someday when I get a barn, I'll be able to mount this on the wall. Well, I got some random stuff here I picked up over time. I don't know if I've uh, reviewed this one or not. This Insecticon. I got this off uh, Sean from Wif Wiffle Games. Everything functions on it. And I put a few new uh, good timing there, Crow. Inside his chest there, it says uh, Tak Takara Company Limited, or Takara, 1980-1985, Japan. I like the size of these uh, Insecticons for Transformers. I just need a gun for this guy, and uh, his name's Kickback. He's a grasshopper. I need his gun, and he'd pretty well be complete. Now, I didn't get this uh, transformer from Sean. I got it from the uh, antique show in town last weekend. This is Perceptor from Generation 1. And he transforms to a microscope. A 
He's in pretty good shape. I'll put them into microscope mode and let you see them. I don't know if I got everything, if I've got everything right, but there he is as a microscope. Turn this uh, little chrome piece here. You can magnify whatever you're looking at. Kind of cool. There he's back again in robot mode. I just need his gun and he'll be complete, I guess. Nice figure. That's Perceptor. Now there's some figures I've picked up over the last while I don't know who this guy is It's about the same size as a mask figure And then uh, this one I think is a dino rider from that Kenner series. And these two dudes here from uh, Kenner's Bone Age. A couple of cavemen. And their weapons. Shield. It's a pretty cool shield, that one. These are from the second hand store. Just wish I'd found a uh, dinosaur bones, dinosaur skeleton. And I've come across these last few weeks. Blue Sato from Mask. Doesn't have his mask, so this one here would have come with the uh, Rhino. The big rig. Along with Matt Tracker. And this one here, I believe, is from a two-pack. And I think they started, uh, when this came out, they started carding figures. Kind of a, a bit of an adventure series they had going. And then last weekend at the flea market, I picked up the Manta. Which is a mask vehicle. 
It should have a, a woman in it. Vanessa Warfield. Instead I've got Floyd Malloy sitting in there. Floyd looks good in there though. That's a pretty nice car too. It's a Nissan 300ZX. Stickers are pretty good. It's got her name on her front plate. Nice rubber tires. There's the wings. It's called an assault aircraft. See the Venom sticker there. Guns pop out from the hood. This piece here is missing, but uh, you don't really notice it until it's popped out. Wheels roll around and you get a set of wings there. This is a seat here. You put somebody you don't like in there. And you deck them out. It's pretty nice. It's got the seat belt and everything. And Floyd's got a seat belt on too. Put that back in. There we go, all back together. That's Samantha. Well, that's some random stuff I've picked up lately, and uh, some of the stuff I've been building. Thought I'd show you. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.